Hob makes a stew. Very tasty. Sometimes you can see one of the brothers weeping. You're playing with me. I'm not. Oh, I found something at the fist of the first bed. Buried onions. Thousands of years old. Very tasty. I think. Sorry. You know, we've got something in common, me and you. You know that? I must have been a couple of years older than you. I got stabbed through the arse right on our doorstep. You want much of a villain what skewered me. Will me, the lad's name was. I ran off before he could spit. I would think about him. It got to the point where I would say his name every night when I was having a shit. Will me. Will me. The prayer almost. Well, one day, I skewered Will me so deep in into town. Will me came. I've been wearing black ever since. That'll help you sleep, eh? <laughs> Your king rides forth to battle. You should see him off with a kiss. My new blade. Come, Peter, I've named it. Nicholas. Your brother's turn will come. Then you can lick his dog. Come off my blade, too. I need you to be perfect today. Can you do that for me? You don't want to wake the dragon, do you? No. It's quite all right. When I was a child, I was very small. And I fingered the hound. So, you see, <laughs> it's an exceedingly clever nickname. There aren't very many people who know that story. I won't tell anyone, I promise. No, please don't. If the hound so much as heard you mention it, I'm afraid my finger would not be able to save you. Don't listen to it. Crows are all liars. I know a story about a crow. I hate your stories. I know a story about all a white women with cunts a hundred feet deep. So is this the sort of story that you like? Get your supper. I want some time with him. One time she told me that so, this blue-eyed giant come. Do you remember Cousin Orson? Orson Lannister? Of course. Wet nurse dropped him on his head and left him simple. Simple? Used to sit all day in the garden. Fucking Beatles. <laughs> Nothing made him happier. But I stayed with Orson. Why? I was curious. Why was he fucking all those Beatles? Why did he get out of it? First thing I did was ask him. Orson? Why are you fucking all those Beatles? He gave me an answer. Fuck the Beatles. Fuck them. Go, go, go. I wasn't deterred. So I went to Maester Valeric's library. It turns out far too much has been written about great men and not nearly enough about Beatles. Doesn't seem right. In any case, I went back to the source, and I still couldn't figure out why he was doing it. And I had to know, because it filled me with dread. Piles and piles of them, years and years of them. How many countless living, crawling things? In my dreams, I found myself standing in a brothel full of beetle horse, stretching as far as the eye could see. 
One tried to put its mouth around my cock. I woke up to find my bald man crying. We heard a rumor Mans Raider was planning to attack the horses. So we went out to look for some of his men. The wildlings who fight for Mans Raider are hard horses. Harder than you'll ever be. You don't know horses. Neither of you do. The horses died first. Didn't have enough to feed them. Eating the horses soft, fat cock was easy. But later when we started to finger the horses to keep them warm, that wasn't easy. We should have had a couple of horses like you along, shouldn't we? Soft, fat horses like you. We'd have lasted a fortnight on you and still had cock left over for soup. Give him seat, men. How close did you get to this PP head? Close as any man would. Get to your horse. Back on you. I won't say it again. Baby was <coughs> this morning. Wipe me up. You hear me? You dumb bitch. Open the fucking gate! I've never heard you bitch before. Well then. Could you sing me a song, Kate? I'd like to hear a song. You, sir. Is that the black bat of bat I see embroidered on your coat? It is, my lady. And is that a true lady? She is. I know your sigil as well. The Tintin the Frey. How fares your lord, sir? Lord Waldo is well, my lady. 